Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Grilled Chicken Chimichurri Fried Rice. Today we'll be fusing together the culinary cuisines of Asia and South America with our grilled chicken chimichurri fried rice. Now it's pretty obvious that this has three main components, the grilled chicken, the chimichurri, and the rice. But what's really great about this meal is that you don't have to do it exactly the way we're gonna do it today. This is great for anything you have left over in the fridge. You need to clean out some of those old veggies, you got some leftover chicken, you've got some leftover rice. You can put all this together and make a fantastic meal. First thing we're gonna do today is get the grill fired up. And we're cooking on the Napoleon Prestige gas grill. But we'll actually be cooking over charcoal today. As you can see, we've got the charcoal basket inserted. So I'm gonna hit these burners right underneath the charcoal basket to get the charcoal started. Now while we're waiting on the charcoal to come up, we're gonna prepare the chicken. Today we're cooking some legs and thighs. I really like the dark meat for this dish because it's a little bit more rich and it holds its moisture a little bit longer at higher temperatures because this is gonna get cooked twice essentially, once on the grill and then again in the skillet. Now for the seasoning for these legs and thighs, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of our Cattleman's Grill carne asada with about two tablespoons of smoked salt and a little more than a teaspoon of cumin. I'll give that a good mix. And then we're just gonna kinda generously season the outside of the chicken here. We've chosen these flavors. We want that carne asada, not necessarily for a carne asada flavor profile so much as just the heat in there. And I like that the red that comes off of the chili powders. So we're always gonna need a little bit of salt. And I like what the cumin adds, just an extra level of depth that these things don't have on their own. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually pull the skin back and season the meat underneath, but we're gonna be using all of the skin as well as all of the meat in the fried rice, so I'm just going to be seasoning the skin today. All right, our charcoal is looking really good. We do not need the burners underneath at this time, so we're gonna turn those off and just rely on the heat coming off the charcoal itself. Now we're gonna go right on top of the charcoal here. If you're wondering, the grill's sitting at about 500 degrees right now. What we're gonna look to do is get nice color, some char going on, and then we can move these off to indirect to finish. All right, these temperatures, it's only gonna take a couple of minutes to get the char you're looking for before you wanna flip this over. All right, just a few more minutes. We're getting some really good color on the bottom side of these chicken thighs and legs. I'm gonna move these over off to the side now. So underneath right here, there's no direct heat. These burners are completely off. All of our heat's still coming from charcoal. We're going to get that indirect heat to slowly raise up the internal temperature of the chicken now that we've got the color we like. All right, we got the chicken on, so let's dive into this chimichurri. All right, we're gonna start off with a bit of cilantro here that we're gonna mince down. We're gonna have a number of herbs, and this is a, this is a chimichurri verde, so there's gonna be lots of green ingredients here. Starting with cilantro, we're also going to have some parsley. That's a big one when it comes to chimichurri. Pretty much always gonna have some parsley and garlic involved. We wanna mince this down pretty fine. We don't need a ton of this today, but for the sake of sharing some accurate information, we're looking for about six tablespoons. So that would be uh, a quarter cup plus another half of one of these. And you guys know, if you hang out until the end of each of these videos, we let you know that the recipe is always available on our website at our blog, atbbq.com slash the sauce. And you can find that link every single video in the video description right below what you're watching right now. Next, we're gonna get into our parsley and we're gonna go for a quarter cup of parsley. And while we're on the herbs, let's go with some oregano. We're gonna break this down, get these leaves off the stems, and mince it down to about two tablespoons. When you guys are mincing herbs like this, 
it's a good idea to do it your best to actually try to slide through rather than chopping straight down because when you chop down on these delicate herbs, you kind of bruise them and those oils start to come out. If we can slice them cleanly, we can keep all of those oils intact inside the herb and then they stick around longer. Next, we're gonna move on to the garlic. So we're gonna peel this, mince it down nice and fine to about one tablespoon of minced garlic. Pop that in there with the greens. And we'll move on to another one of our aromatics. We've got some shallots here today. We're looking to get these minced down pretty fine as well and about a quarter cup. Just peel that outer layer off and discard the skins. And then we'll cut these just like we do an onion. Working our way around the arc here. Doesn't have to be perfect. We can put a chop on it to break it down further when we're done if we need to. Here's another ingredient that's optional really. Uh, we've got some serrano peppers and we're adding these really just for the heat and a little bit for the texture. If you want to, take some of those seeds out so it's not quite so hot um, or you can just leave them right in there. Mince all this up. The amount you want to add is totally up to you. We'll probably do a couple teaspoons. All right, if we wanted to at this point, we could add some vinegar and some oil and call this chimichurri good. But there's a really cool opportunity here since we're making a fried rice, we have the opportunity to introduce some other ingredients. So this is where you'd get into your fridge and see what do I have? Some green beans, you have some broccoli, maybe some spinach. Today we're gonna add a couple extra ingredients that we would normally throw into the stir fry with the fried rice anyway, but we can actually incorporate them into this chimichurri. All right, we've got some green beans here. I'm just gonna clean these up, get rid of those ends. And we'll go fairly small on these. We're not gonna really be cooking them except for in the pan, so we need them to cook through a little bit. All right, so that's probably a half to three quarter cup. I'm also gonna add about a quarter cup of these edamame beans. Now I'm just gonna dress this up with a half cup of extra virgin olive oil and about two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Give it a shake of smoked salt and let's mix it all up. So chimichurri, which is actually a marinade and a sauce for meats, as you can see, becomes a really nice condiment on the side. So we could have soaked our chicken in something similar to this or maybe broken down a little bit more fine, but what we have today is this really beautiful rustic chimichurri. Wonderful. Just the right amount of heat too. All right, let's check on our chicken here. We're looking for an internal temperature of about 165 to 170 in the deepest parts of our leg and thigh. It's gonna 163 there. This back one's coming up a little faster. So we're getting really close. We'll pull these off in just a minute. All right, we're pulling these off now. And if you guys remember earlier, I said that we wanted to use the skin in the stir fry. Well, some of it's still kind of soft. So we're just gonna throw it over here on the direct coals to crisp that back up. And then just pretty much right away, we're gonna shred all this meat and remove it from the bones. So get your cottons under your nitriles so you can get in there without burning your hands. I'm gonna discard any of this cartilage stuff that totally grosses me out. And 
We've got that chicken meat shredded. We're gonna chop down our skins that we've charred off over the charcoal. So there's another great element of the char, a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of fattiness. And all of those elements coming together with the chimichurri, which is bright, spicy, and a little bit tangy. It's going to be fantastic in this fried rice, so let's get that set up. We've got the Lodge cast iron skillet, 12 inch. It's preheating on the side burner here on the Napoleon. I'm going to get a couple tablespoons of olive oil down. We're over about medium heat right now. And the first thing we're going to do is throw down a couple of eggs. And it won't take long for those to start to firm up. Once they do, go ahead and push those off to the side. We're gonna crank the temperature all the way up and start adding some of our butter. Here's a couple tablespoons of unsalted butter. We want this to melt down. Now this is giving us our fat base to start essentially stir frying in. Next, I'm gonna add three cups of cooked jasmine rice. And we're not gonna go over how to cook rice today, just follow the instructions on whatever package you're using. But the yield you're looking for is about three cups for a skillet of this size. It's best if it's been sitting for a day, but even if you cook it earlier in the day and let it chill down, that'll work too. All right, so the rice is uh, soaking up some of that fat. We add just a couple more tablespoons of butter. And then as that stuff starts to melt down, we're gonna add the remainder of the ingredients. So all of that chimichurri goes right in there. And we're just gonna start to incorporate everything. Now we're just sort of mixing this around every few minutes, but we'll let it sit a little bit too, because when we do that, we get a really nice fry on the bottom. Look at that crust that's forming right there. We want some of that crunch. And since we're getting there, we're getting some of that browning on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken back. So that chicken that we cooked earlier, along with that crispy chicken skin, mix it all together. Ooh, and now we get all the flavors of the char from the grill mixed into our fried rice. The aromas are incredible right now. That chimichurri that's really popping. Now that rice wasn't seasoned at all, so the only seasoning we have is the little bit of salt that we put into our chimichurri and what was on the outside of the chicken. So we're just gonna add a bit of smoked salt here mix it around. Our chicken should be nice and hot now. We'll give this a taste test when we get back to the prep table, but this should be ready to come off. Ooh. Still a little hot. Speaking of heat, the heat from that Serrano is definitely popping out. And I'm sure that the Cattleman's Grill eight second ride adds a little bit to that as well. But the flavors are fantastic. I'm getting the char the chimichurri is still bright even though we cooked it. And that chicken is just super tender because we used the dark meat. It has a much longer life than the white meat when you talk about reheating stuff or cooking it twice. And that's exactly what you want in a dish like this. Stuff that goes a long way. The chimichurri, that changes the game. Brings everything up, brightens everything in a dish that you kind of think of as being a bit heavy and oily. Really great balance in this fried rice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all of the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.